Okay, so after three hours and many sheets of paper and quite a lot of frustration, I, well, not necessarily that, um, but quite a lot of trial and error and giving up and putting, coming back to it, I came up with this. Okay. This, everything that's in pen. Not this pencil drawing stuff down here. Everything in pen. I'll draw this out in a nicer, neater manner. Just a moment. The reason that this is not going to work is because the, this, on, uh, this only works when there are vertical creases intersecting from the bottom and, I guess, ricocheting horizontally. That's not what we have here. We have horizontal creases going this way, and that wasn't going to work, because then those horizontal creases would hit the diagonal and become vertical creases, and that's not at all what we want. So, this wasn't going to work. I have decided to take these these tendril things off because I can do it, I just don't really want to use a larger sheet of paper to do this because the uh, papers that I use is not particularly cheap. Uh, well, I mean, it's free for me, but for the people I get it from, it's not cheap. So, here is the revised design. There's the top of the square, there's the left side. We're going to go down two units. So I'm drawing off this. So down two units, pretend that's a straight line. Then we're going to go down two, four, six, seven. Go down seven units. There's two, four, six, seven. We're going to go up one, then down two, four, six, eight, then down eight. So two, four, six, eight. Now we're going to go up one, down one, up one, and back four. So there's one, two, three, and four. I hope you're able to see all this. Let me zoom in. Okay, so we've gone. This is two units here. This is down seven. This is one. This is eight. One, 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 and four. Now we're going to go this way. Two, four, six, seven, seven units. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down two, four, five, and down five. So there's two, four, five, seven. Now we're going to go up one, it's one, down two, and up two. And that will get us to the middle of the, uh, the center of the paper. It's one, two, and two. All right, so we've got seven plus one, that's eight, plus eight is 16, 17, 18, 19, negative 4, so that's 15, plus 7, 22, plus 5, 27, 28, 30, 32. Alright, so that is the upper section, and this is the heart, by the way. This, this line right here, that's going to form the heart. 
the fingers will be made right here. So I worked out, we only need seven units to make the heart. So this is going to allow us to have the, um, the heart is going to be attached to the arm. So it's as if the arm is here, the heart is going to come out of the arm right here. Okay. So now, we count up our vertical units. So that's 2, 7, negative 1, so 6, plus 8 is 14. Fourteen. That is a little bit less than it than it originally was. I think it was originally 18 or 19 units, now it's less, which means we have more space for other stuff, which is good. Now, it is 5 units, I believe. Check that in a second. Yeah, it's a different spiral. Figures. Okay, so a kneeling figure from the center of the breast to the waist is going to be about four or five units. So we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it four units. Well, yeah, we'll call it five for now. So we can always back down if we need to. So there's two, four, five, That is the hip. And then the thigh is going to be four or five again. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. So that'll be the, the knee. So now we add up our units here. We've got 14, 19, 24. That's really good. Now, if we want the um, the wings to come out at the shoulder blades, that's going to be just a hair above the center of the breast, which is right here. Go ahead and draw this on. So that means we need at least 10 units to account for the, uh, the space from the knee to the center of the breast. That's 10 units. Uh, so we're going to call it 11 units. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 units. And then everything down here is going to be wing. So we got um, 14, 24 plus 11, 35 units, which 64 minus 35 is, hang on a second, it's Saturday, I'm not supposed to think. 29, I got 29 units to work with down here. 
which is really nice because that means I have 29 units in which to make really nice wings or uh, I could also and by the way it only takes 16 units to make wings so if we take 29 minus 16 who oh, upside down math we've got 13 units to spare so I could I think I could actually make full legs on this yeah I could we could so that's five units down to the waist that's five units for the thigh we could put uh, oops, another five here for the calf and then increase this by five so that'll be sixteen This one too. So now we have fourteen plus five is nineteen plus five twenty four plus five is uh twenty nine. Yeah. Plus sixteen. So twenty nine plus sixteen. 45, now 64 minus 45 leaves us 19 units to spare, which means we've got three extra units in which to do something with. So we can do legs. That's that's a good thing. And I've got how long? I've got two minutes left. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and make legs and then have her kneeling and then pull out layers on, on the legs and wrap them around so it looks like she's wearing some kind of a, a dress that's maybe split down the side or something. Alright, that's it. Gotta go.